And it says we are live. And apparently, Funky didn't go live tonight. Funky, where is you? Oh, boy. Well, let's see if anybody shows up. If they do, they do. If they don't, I'm going to shut her down, dog. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Brian Allen, what's going on there, my YouTube friend? Dun, dun, dun. Tell me something good, man. Tell me something good. And there's four dude. Yo, yo, dude. Yep, 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 yep. I'm live with Barbecue Mike. What is going on, my YouTube friends? Let's see if I can do a little shenanigans here, huh? Not, not that one. Let's see. We go to Mr. Mike one. And it's Friday, and he's live at Turkey. At Turkey's live. Yes, he is. Pinks, I was just about to hit the live <clears throat> and saw your stream. I'm sorry, Pinks. Do you want to switch over to your channel? Do, do, do. I'm not hard to get along with. Pop out chat. Uh, boy, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So we got Pink's Barbecue for Dude, Brian Allen. Yay, but Oh, and we got a little Zachary, too. What's going on, Zach? Pink says, nope. <laughs> nope. All right, honey, I'm live. Let's see. A broke bone at the top of your what? What the hell did you do to your damn foot? Copy, copy, copy. And uh, let me finish this bowl of spaghetti and I'll join you all for a few. Okay, sounds good there. So, Mr. Ford, dude. Yes, yes. I think we can do this. Yeah, but here we go. Pin message. All right, she's pinned, man. We's, we's ready to rock and roll now. And we got, oh my goodness, this dude right here, man. I'm telling you what. <laughs> this what up, dude, dude right here. What up? <laughs> hey, you got to give me a minute. I got to bring some stuff in, but I'll hop okay. on here. Okay. That boy Fox, what is going on, my friend? And here comes Pinks. What's Pink? up, Pinks? I'm What's sorry, I messed up your live. Oh no, no, I was sitting there and I was going to on my TV, was checking to see. Um, oh, there's a so I could have it up there, and then all of a sudden I saw yours. <laughs> Screw it, that makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I made it easy for you. So how do I sound tonight? You I'm sound good. good. Okay. All right, I'll be back in a sec. I'll be here, but I'll be back in a minute. All right, Barbecue Mike, what the hell did you do to your foot? Sounds like you may have broken it. Okay, there, got logged in. Okay, so I'm actually on my laptop now with an external camera. Looks good. Sounds good. I mean, you're still ugly. I, I you know, oh, but... There's no doubt. <laughs> I, mean, I was, I just... I like to have a good camera so I can spread my ugliness to the rest of the world. <laughs> there you go. You know, I was watching uh, Fallout earlier based on the video game, that new show on Prime. It's actually pretty good. You know, I was getting ready to turn that on, and then I seen Funky didn't go live. And I'm like, you know what? These people are looking for a live. Mm -hmm. I've been busy dealing with crap along with scammers and calling me and saying that they have case against me. Oh, yeah, you got to watch oh, all yeah. of it. <laughs> I get that all the time. Mm -hmm. I have fun with them. So do I. My if, wife if, I have time. if I don't have time, I, I, I kick him out. I just listen. My wife, she gets mad at me because, like, when they'll call and stuff on the phone, I just got to irritate them, man. Oh, yeah. It's fun. It, it is. Uh. So I got my new truck yesterday, and I like it. 
but you know they're not they're not the same the f-150 really? has changed i mean really to be honest with you this truck rides and drives like an f-250 like a super duty really yes i mean it's got the same this you know what i'm saying so they must have they must have really hiked up the uh the the um yeah yeah the suspension there you go they must have really hyped up the suspension on those things man in the last couple of years you know the one thing i loved about my 450 was the wide stance it had and how it rode and actually how it actually handled it it handled well mm -hmm. which was crazy um, because it's a big truck it shouldn't handle well it shouldn't take corners the way it did but, oh no, they're good. I see. I had a, I had a two thousand. I think it was a two thousand and eight F three fifty, and I freaking loved that truck, man. Oh, well, but when in uh, what was it twenty nineteen or twenty, they widened the stance on the three fifty and four fifty. Yes, in the front and made them handle even better and take tight turns. Because I remember my twenty fifteen F three fifty had such a huge turn radius, and that four fifty could turn inside of it. You know, really. In fact, I, I I would swear that the turn radius on my F450 was tighter than my Focus. Yeah, but the Focus ST has a really large turn radius for for a small car because well, of the, you know, that's why I say with the Fords because the Fords turn radius is better than GMs and Mopars and Chrysler. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why I always step for, for pulling the trailer and backing it in oh, and stuff like that. Just I don't always... understand how much that comes into play when you pulling a trailer right you know so i've always that's why i've always liked the fords you know but my other truck i had seventy seven thousand miles on it it still ran good look i still had the original brakes on that truck nice and uh so when i took it to the dealer and he went out and looked at it and there's this one little flaw and uh, that was it on the truck he was like dude i can pretty much just clean this thing up and throw it on the front lot oh yeah you know, so. brakes on it, <laughs> done. Yeah, he's gonna put brakes on it. Yeah, that's actually pretty cheap. They, they might charge a lot for it, but it doesn't cost that much to do. It just needs pads. Yeah, because when I was there, they took it in the back and they pulled the tires off, checked the pads on it, and they go, "It would probably last another five thousand miles, but we're gonna put pads on it now." And I said, "That's up to you. You own it now, man. I don't care what you do. Your truck." But I, I came home with every intention of working on my car tonight. Well, sometimes it happens. I had every intention of doing it. I did. And I kind I of worked home. on my car today. And I got tired. I, is I cleaning just, your car considered working on your car? It is, yes. Okay. If I worked on my car today. Look at this guy, say, man. This, I I know, this, guy right here, this, this guy right here is the new barbecue king. No, hell no. <laughs> no, no, no. That day I was 100% rookie and it all to pieces. Nice haircut. Oh, yeah. I give it to myself. I don't pay nobody. <laughs> I do my own haircuts too. Me all with yeah. Kim's assistance, but yeah. You used to. Oh, I, stand right, I stand right in front of the mirror with a set of clippers and clip that bitch as low as they'll go and we're good. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I used to do that. I had a company that doesn't like it when I do that, so I don't do that anymore. I got a company that is sponsoring me to do a review on their razor. Which one is it? <laughs> Man, is it Manscaped? Function hair trimmer. Uh, it's a. I, it's a. I guess it's a newer company. I don't know. Basically, a hair, you know, a head shaver with the, you know, probably comes with all the attachments for different yeah. sizes. Yeah, you can, it's got ear trimmers, it's got nose trimmers. I mean, it's got those are nice. <laughs> I need one of those. Oh. Hell, just send it to me, Gary. I'll do the damn review for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I need one of those. That way, it's like, oh, my damn, hold on, take it. My Wi Fi's on, hold on, take it. Okay. Yeah, you you lost your avatar because you did a quick out and then. I don't think I have a, you have no avatar. Audio avatar on this computer. I don't. I'm not. So did you get your car cleaned up? For the most part, go. the uh, interior is done. The, all the glass on the inside and outside is done. The wheels are done. Uh, I just got to clean the body. And it was really windy today, so it would have been a good day. Even when it's sitting in the garage, a lot of dust blows in. So 
I'm gonna Wendy. say the day before. Dude, that's a freaking understatement around here. You thought a damn hurricane was coming through. Oh, the yeah. Wind? My God, dude, the wind was so damn bad around here. Same way Holy here shit. Today. So did you go to, what is it, Portillo's or Portobillo's? Port Portillo's. Portillo's? Portillo's. Portillo's? Four, like Dude, you got four. that that place on the mind, dude. Is that all you think about? That wasn't for me. I didn't go there for me. I had a steak and a sandwich for dinner today, or lunch, dinner, dinner, or whatever you want to call it. Dude, I just, I just ate my dinner. It's called leftover spaghetti. Oh, that sounds good too. I, I ate that oh, yeah. for like two but I ran out. Did you I see? I included the sign, Gary. Bama, what's up, buddy? Did you did what? Bama? Did you see I included the, yes, Italian beef sandwich. You got it, Joe. Um, I included, like, the, it shows the packages, like where you can buy a pound of beef or a half pound or whatever it is and how many people it serves and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But, They're building that one that's in Livonia, like Pink said, the last stream. That's, that's cool. I'm, I like Livonia. That's actually not a bad little area. I've, I've been there, I think, three times for jobs. I'll be curious if it tastes just as good as Chicago's there. So, you know, I, I, <laughs> Chicago don't have the fucking best food in the world, Sublime. Get over it. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not the one here. My son-in-law was the one that told me that mm -hmm. Portillo's and other states are not as good as Chicago. That's the only reason why I said that, okay? I'm not trying to brag on my food. Right? Every and every if it was pizza, that's the other different different story. I'd be bragging the shit out of that. But freaking just this poor, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, well, I will I will debunk that because I've had both Chicago and New York style pizza, and I prefer New York style over Chicago. Did you actually have it in New York, or did you have New York style? I had Chicago pizza in Chicago, and I had New York pizza in New York. How long ago was this? Oh, shit, dude, back in the 90s. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, I mean, hell, they were still... Those. Best hey, but this damn pizza, this pizza battle's been going on for 50 damn years between those Harder two states. Than that, man. Been going <laughs> yeah, longer than I've been alive. <laughs> hey, best <laughs> pizza's in Vermont, guys. I'm sorry. In all honesty. In oh, all don't honesty, get freaking what's his name going. If you, uh, go, if you go to Chicago and have pizza, That's okay. right? I guess it's going to have to be the place that you go to to get the good pizza. Because yeah. I, had little, I had a little store on the corner over here that used to do the chicago style pizza and yeah i'm telling you it was so good so <laughs> good and then when my sister was in chicago in the hospital we stopped and had pizza and it wasn't anything to brag about i mean it was good but it's not nothing to write home about it really depends on where you go it does I'm sorry. yeah well, well, see, Michael, I, you don't know what you're talking about so just i keep did trying. the traditional test you know chicago is famous for his deep dish Oh, wait. So I oh, tried. I, well, hold on a second. That's just I'm just saying. Chicago is famous for their deep dish pizza. All right. New York is for their damn hand tossed or thin crust. All right. So I had a deep dish in Chicago, which I'm not a deep dish pizza guy because I don't like that much dough. Um, and I like the thin crust and the hand toss better. But I just I actually like the taste of the sauces. And the, the ingredients that was on the pizza, I actually preferred what I got in New York versus what I got in Chicago. What was the name At of the pizza place you went to in Chicago? Man, you talk about back in the goddamn 90s. Hold on a second. Well, if it was a famous one, it was probably either like Lumonati's, Giordano's. I'm assuming. We got, we got pizza Dude. like that here, too. I've but been to Giordano's. There was a place that made like a, it was like a, it was pizza, but it was like a, uh, a pie. Yeah. That stuffed, yeah, dude. Level. I'm telling you yeah, what. Oh my good. god, it was like having pizza and dessert. <laughs> Salty, all I'm telling you is, I'll take you to two places here that'll change your mind. I had one was lot in Chicago and in New York, and it depends on the day and which one, which one I like better. It depends on what I wanted because I had two different types of pizza. I love thin crust. That's that's just I like. A See, that's me. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a deep dish guy. I don't like all that bread. 
I'm not either. I don't order deep dish. I get either thin crust or they have this one place, actually two places that sell it, and it's called a double decker pizza. So it's not sauce on top, but it's like a thin layer of crust, cheese and toppings, another thin layer of crust, more cheese and toppings. Okay, that's just that's just too much bread already right there. I'm no. telling you, dude, don't that's knock it till you try it. It's a okay, guys, one. hang on one second here, man. Hey, uh, K, the K Dog, where in the hell you been, buddy? I hope you're doing well. What the hell is wrong with you, girl? Settle yeah, I can't thing. be on too late tonight. I got family coming into town later tonight. I can't stay on late neither. I got to go I donate can, my fucking services all day tomorrow. I can go to five different pizza places, and I guarantee you two of them is going to suck. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. I guarantee yeah, yeah, yeah. you're right. 100% on that. But my favorite pizza I've had was at a place called Gino's, and it's in Vermont. And that was like the best pizza. And and I'm just saying from back then. And this is back. Gino's is still good. Yeah, Gino's was so. And it, this was. Always, there. And I think it it always had a line at lunchtime. You never wanted to go to because people were going in just to buy a slice, and there was always a damn line. So you had to get there early, especially if you wanted a full pizza. Uh, K Dog, what you talking about? You homeless man. Oh man. Dude, freaking I screwed my back up pretty good today. To load unloading 12 pallets, well, not unloading, but bringing 12 pallets of freaking heavy ass shakes into the office. You still beat up? A little bit, yeah. I'm gonna put a heating pad on tonight. Smart. smart. You, know, you know what that you know what that's called? Uh supply? Work. No, it's called getting getting old, brother. Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. yeah but when you're not used to doing it anymore, I don't care how old you are, dude. It's gonna make yeah, you sore. Yeah, like, cause your body's just not conditioned for it anymore. Look yeah. at this guy, man. <laughs> what up, oh man? shit. What up, gentlemen? The damn hill bullied back. Oh, oh sorry though. Gentlemen, bro. <laughs> guess get guess where I'm at. You're in your uh, house. Your I'm house. at home. Sweet. You got nice, nice brother. Time? And nobody can piss me off because i'm at home oh, trust me i can piss you off well you could <laughs> go ahead go for it brian oh, allen i don't think yeah. i've ever had cornmeal crust on a pizza i don't think i've ever uh, had that I've had that's what they use on the bottom almost all quality pizza places put that on the bottom of the pizza it's just yeah. the, the crust is the meat on the cornmeal it just it goes on the bottom See, I've never, I've never made a homemade pizza before. I've never had a homemade pizza. I've, the only thing I've ever ate has been come from some kind of restaurant. So, um, I've never had a homemade pizza anywhere. Oh, we got, we got a house tour. Hey, um, cool, Bama. That's awesome, dude. Nice. I'm at home. That, that's keep that's walking, nice. bro. Now hey, there ain't get, nothing there, but I'm at home. Did you get your damn ice maker to work? Yeah. Believe it or not, I like it. I like it. Oh, that kitchen. I like the kitchen, too. Yeah, watch this shit. We couldn't get it work for a day. I think you got a bigger uh, kitchen than I do. So. <laughs> ah. There you go. Now you, can have, now you can have some of that damn co shit called iced coffee. Yeah. Oh, now you, now you got to get the TV and everything set up. <laughs> Oh, well, you still, so, so you still got to get all your furniture and shit, then, huh? Well, we we ain't got anything yet, but we ain't worried about that. You got a mattress to sleep on? Oh yeah. There you go. You're good to go. I, yeah. I've lived like that. Priest is already in there in the bed. We so oh, we at home. I'm happy. Did you tell Teresa what I said yesterday. There's a guy in that that bathroom there. I just saw him. Who? Hey. I said there was an ugly guy in that bathroom there. I just saw him. Yeah, oh, right there. You see oh, right no, there? He's one. It looks like he left. Hey, did you tell Teresa what I said yesterday, Bama? I will in the morning. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Yes. Tell us you had to give did up you, that tutti fruit. We had to give up that tutti fruity, goddamn, so we can celebrate. Did you? Did you get the Bama? You did me a favor. A while ago? I don't know, what was you saying, Bama? Did you get the pictures I just sent you about that car? Uh, no, no, no. I'll look. Hold on a second. I got a text, but I didn't see who it was. Hold on a second. If, if, I, Bam, if I, I don't respond to... back, that means I'm looking at the pictures. Bam, I need yeah, you to do me a favor. I... Yeah. Go back to the bathroom. This is for Funky. Oh, okay. Hold on. 
No pictures, yeah. buddy. No pictures came through. What, what, what's in the bathroom for Funky, man? You'll see. All right. So remember how you showed your uh, your phone in the mirror, but you didn't show you when early, about a second ago? Yeah. Yeah. So do that again. And then I want you to get the phone a little bit closer to the mirror and then stick your middle finger right by the mirror. There you go. Now Not get bad. closer. Yeah, get closer. You don't have to show yourself if we want. All right, hold on. Keep it like that. Hold on. Keep it like that. I want to do that one more time. What the hell are you trying to do? <laughs> because Funky's always sending me creative ways to flip you off. To flip me off. So I'm going to do one to him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now that's funny. Lord Hamper. Oh, uh, shit. Nah, Bama, no pictures came through, dude. Just your text, dude. Did you, did you send no, me the pictures in the uh, text? Did you send them on Facebook? Uh, Facebook. Okay, that's the reason why I can't see them. Dumb. It's if good, you had told me that. Thing, it's probably a good thing you didn't get those pictures there because they're probably of his pecker. No, this oh, motherfucker's no, no, going no. into the... No, he's going into the Fox Body business. This fucking thing to get another it's Fox another, Body. another uh, four-cylinder coupe. Somebody's wanting to give me real cheap. Real cheap. Oh, real cheap. I can send him to Gary. He probably get him quicker than Salty does. I don't I doubt it. Well, I'll probably knock myself out. Let's see. Oh, you still there? Nope. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to put that cute dog back up because I'm ugly. There we go. Cute dog. It's not mine. Dude, that's a clean ass coupe all besides that right front corner of that bumper just where the paint scraped off of it. Yep. That's how much is clean as hell, dude. They yeah. don't give Because people are just idiots when they start drinking, that's all. And the damn price you told me on it, you better jump on that car, dude. That's a killer damn deal for that car. Was he getting it for free? That's that's the killer deal. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. might you might as well say so. Well, you might as well say so when it comes to the Fox Body world. Well, everybody I mean, knows how much how expensive they are. I got news for you. These Fox Bodies are going now of anywhere from twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars. I know. Crazy. I just sent it to you, Gary. I just sent it to you. You did. Yeah, you sent me. Yeah. You sent me four pictures, but you sent me like sixteen pictures. It was yeah. like four pictures of the each picture. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I've done that. These things up here are going for twenty five to thirty five thousand dollars. I'm like, no way, man. I need to put mine up for at least Yeah, four. no shit, Gary. About time for you start making some damn killer profit, ain't it? Oh shit. Well, I think after if we get this car, me and my son, I think I may change my mind on the first coupe. I may just get it running correctly and get rid of it. I'm saving but still, up. but still, get four blue is porno. Oh, he won't. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, four blue man, he's been kind of uh, been MIA. Yeah, I mean, when he's working on the old cars and stuff like that, he sends me texts and that. But I mean, really, he just he really don't want to talk on the phone or anything. Wow. Oh yeah, he he sent me some pictures last weekend. Yeah, he sent some of when he was working on the uh, comet. Yeah, he called me. Oh, what was it? Four, four days ago, five days ago. He was asking me. Um, we talked for like thirty minutes. He was asking me about an RC car. Hey, somebody just said the same thing you did there. Sublime my net. Shelby with the red wheels. <laughs> this guy says the Heritage GT five hundred has been sabotaged. My God, those red wheels are insanely ugly. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but not yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, those were. Uh, I, I like the color of the wheels, but not on that car. Mm hmm. Exactly. Bam, did you text those pictures to Gary? Or did you send them to him on Facebook? Uh, Facebook. 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 You guys got the Facebooks? Yeah, we got yep. the Facebooks. They're so pretty. You That's see that cool. light right there? That's mine. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, see the light? I ain't, I'm even happy about the light. I see the light. Damn, dude, you're the man. 
Don't Tiger. walk to hey, don't pinks don't walk towards the light. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> so this guy does it have an engine in it? Yeah, it's four cylinder. Okay, well, that's even better. Turbo four? Yeah, that's a, that means it's an unmolested, unraced, undamaged Ooh, car. It's probably being really, really good damn shape. Hey, whose truck's on that trailer? Uh well that's <laughs> that's Brandon. He lives, I don't know, maybe five minutes from my son. He goes to Ford Taker every year. Huh? Oh really? Yeah. I want to and who is this? Well, I ain't telling you who the hell it is. I want the truck. <laughs> I can care less about the car. <laughs> Uh, let me go back. Oh look. yeah, that's F, that's F one hundred. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. bump side. Uh oh yeah 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 yeah. He's got one. That's his daddy's. Oh, I even like that. I even like that color. So are they ready to get rid of that truck? Well, I can tell you, my son's going tomorrow. Look at the look the car over and if. if if it's what he says it is, which my son's already seen it, but he ain't looked at it that real close, but now he wants to sell it to me, so <laughs> I can ask him. <laughs> what yeah, doing? those one piece headlights, dude. They're I they got to go. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm yeah. a, I'm a, I got a sledgehammer. Yeah, thank you. Oh, is it uh, aftermarket headlights? The one oh, piece? Yeah. yeah, they're ugly. <laughs> God, I'm <really laughs> It's gonna need a, it's gonna need a damn left back tail light too because that one busted. Oh, I ain't I ain't concerned about that. I'll still. Oh no 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 no! Cool. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't be concerned <laughs> either. That's that's minor no. shit. No, because if no, dude, if, both those tail lights need to be sledgehammered. Yeah, <laughs> if if it comes if it comes down to it, I'd rather take my K member and everything out of my car and put it in that and sell the other one. Yeah but, you, money back. yeah, but you can damn uh believe it or not, somebody will buy those damn uh uh headlights. Believe it or not, they will. I tell you what, most tell people you what, put them I'll in their drag them out. In the next live stream, I'm sure it won't be funky's, but Gary's or somebody else's, I will mm. crush them in front of you. Yeah, most people put those one piece like that in drag cars. Nah. <sighs> Now, I, I will steal the brake lights and all that stuff out of the coupe, the first one I bought, and put it in the next one because they look identical to the ones I had in mine. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. So my thing is is that that front end's been hit, and I mean it's been hit hard enough where they've replaced the fenders and everything at one time. Talking about on that white coupe? Yep. I didn't see that. Oh, let me look at the closer. I mean, you see the bruise on the bumper, but listen, that car has been hit. The front has been painted on it. That yeah, well, my, my my son's dealt with Fox body. He he knows what it looked like. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, he knows what to look at, what to look I at. Right so. here in the picture, that thing's been hit. It's been hit pretty good. I mean, it ain't nothing you can't fix, right? But. Still, just got to look at it, make sure it ain't. We got to put it on a frame machine or something stupid. Yeah, it does got a pretty oh, good yeah. gap between that damn passenger door and that fender right there. Boys, look at the difference in the color and the paint. Yeah, you can see that too. Yeah, but the thing is, he knows my son and he knows my son's built Fox body, so he wouldn't tell him nothing different. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, your son's going to know anyhow, so knowing the difference. Yeah. So if it comes down to it, little price and you sell it again. Exactly. Shit, that'd be if it, you know if it's that bad, just buy it and put it on the drag strip. Go have it, fun with it. That's the thing, though. It might not be that bad. It might have been more, you know, fender damage than. Yeah, could have just been cosmetic, you know, core damage, right? Yeah, because you know a lot of people but, they just. But it's definitely been hit. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah, it could be a lot of people just put shit on and they don't they don't know how to align shit like fenders and hoods and shit like that. Because I I've been I've been guilty of that shit way back in the day. I like that truck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find you a damn truck, Gary. Okay. When I find you a damn truck, 
You got to stop, Sublime. You got to stop. What's he doing? Food food again? Again? What's yes. he doing? Cinnabon. When you find that damn truck, what? I said, when I find the right one and you like it, we're going to have to figure out a way to ship it to your ass. Well, if that's the case, family, I will freaking come down there and get it. Well, don't ask your wife. Uh, you got to look at it. He just bought a brand new damn truck. He's got to put miles on it somehow. <laughs> I well, I you did. <laughs> I did. Yep, I did. How are you liking that truck? I've seen the pictures you put put in a uh, car peep. It's a good looking truck. I'm going to tell you something. That truck drives like an F-250. I ain't kidding you. It's got steel suspension on it or something? It's, I'm telling you, that thing drives and handles like an F-250. I mean, really? my other truck didn't handle nothing like this truck. Mm. Mm. They have changed. Uh, you know. In my other you truck, a, it was good, but this right here is, seems like it's going to be better. Did you get another uh, EcoBoost? Yes. Okay. If I was buying a new truck, I'd have gotten an EcoBoost. I wouldn't have gotten. I wouldn't have gone for the Coyote at all. But I, on an old one, I was not going to go for a Gen One EcoBoost. Not going to do it. <laughs> not not knowing how people took care of it. Hey, window VW bus are sweet. I love those damn things. I like thirteen windows better, but the eight window is nothing to, to sneeze at. They're, they're I like sweet. the eight windows. You know why? Uh, five uh, five damn windows less. I got to clean because I hate cleaning the windows in my damn car. <laughs> hey, uh, barbecue Mike, what are you talking about? Who don't talk to you? Oh, he's talking, talking about, about uh, blue. four blue. Talking about four blue. Oh, that was back. He said that back when you were talking about four blue. Oh, hey, I, that's, I, I, I take the uh, twenty three window VW bus myself. Well, good. If I ever buy me a 23 window VW bus, I'll hire you to come wash all the windows. Uh, if you find one, you can make a lot of damn money. Look, that's I'm okay. Say something. My brother bought an old 60 some VW camper bus, and I made a video on it, and people were freaking blowing up my fucking PMs, man, wanting to buy that truck. And a guy down in Iowa bought it, and I took it to him. Really? He paid me. Listen, he paid me five grand for that thing, and it was a rust bucket. I mean, rust bucket. Wow. Parts were fucking flying off that thing out, off from the trailer. They Damn. Another eight hundred dollars to bring it to him. So that son of a bitch was losing weight the whole way down there, huh? All the way down there. <laughs> Gas mileage get better, uh, better, better, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which one, Gary? Huh? Which one? It was a sixty. 68 camper bus. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's the kind that's got, yeah. Uh, what you, what they call it? Um, shit. What'd you just call it, Pink? Well, West Folly is where it was made. Yeah, West Folly. That's where, that's where the top behind the driver's compartment it raises up, makes like a pop up tent above that damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hell, they got damn stoves, refrigerator, or ice boxes, and all that kind of shit. And those things, they're nice as hell. Friend of mine, oh, but nice. Well, his parents had one, and I always thought it was the coolest thing. Well, if you yeah, find my, wife, uh, my wife says she'll never go to Iowa ever again. Yeah. My problem is, my problem is with those, is they just don't have enough power. They're cool as hell, but it's only got an eighteen hundred cc motor in it. Them some yeah. bitches, they ain't got enough power to pull, power to pull a wet dick out of a sick horse. Yeah, speed ass. manual transmission to make it move. So anyhow, anywho, it was a '67. Okay. Did you say a five-speed transmission? Uh, so the much, one they had four. They had, no, they have four speeds in them. Uh, that's the older ones. The one my friend's parents had was like a '70s, late '70s, right. early '80s model. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I put the link in the chat. I think it was a five speed. I never drove that it. I video. Drive back you that you look at that bus, dude. It's like it's hit. <laughs> but he wanted that thing, man. Let's go to this chat link and see what we've got. So, did any of you guys see the uh, portraits Ford released of a S six fifty Shelby manual car? That's a six window. No. You count the back as eight window. God almighty, that son of a bitch is rusted to dead. Look at that. 
They ain't much left at the bottom of that bus. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy that shit. Was bad. That, that, that was nice. I like that Dude, one. Dude, that is a camper, though. It's got the pop top and everything on top of it. It is a camper. It was a camper. Hell yeah. Dude, he's probably, if he actually restored that back to the way it was, there's no telling how much money he got invested in that. Well, like I said, he paid me five grand, plus he gave me $800 to bring it to him. Can't believe that's only got 191 views on that video. Damn, and he wanted that damn thing. Yeah, I know, bad. right? But the thing is, he got that thing, he got it, all the body panels and everything put back on that thing, and he sold it and made a ton of fucking money off of it. I so, bet he damn did. Yep, and then shortly after that, he passed away. He was a real good dude, too. That sucks. Man, I hate to hear stories like that, man. You're talking about, you're talking about Dan, right? Yeah. Dan Love. That's a good name, too. Dan Love. That, that's a good name. Yeah. That is it. That is what it looks like those windows. The, the, the way they, because those are the crank open windows. Yes. <laughs> just those, that thing is just amazing. Oh, God, look at that. <laughs> it's horrible. The first house I ever bought had crank open windows like that in the damn living room. Hey, hey, but like I said, and you can ask my wife too, she'll verify it, dude. That thing, parts was rust was flying off that thing while we were going down the highway. I believe it. <laughs> the belly pan that went up underneath the front of the uh, the front axle and stuff like that. It fell down. It was gone by the time I got to his house. Ah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that, that had to be replaced anyway. So it would you know, it wrong. needed to be replaced. No big loss. Anything that fell off like that needed to be replaced. So <laughs> that, that was a cool, that was a nice little video there. I like that. Uh, I listen to she, it. It was good to watch. I, I take it after that trip, she said she ain't never going back to Iowa again. No, I'm telling <laughs> you. Well, if you look at the part where the gas station's at, you can see the belly pan hanging down right there. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> it's like, that, no, listen, oh, listen. The only thing that's there is that truck, that, that truck stop, the biggest truck stop ever or whatever. Mm. And I'm telling you what, the rest of it was seas and seas and miles and miles of corn and freaking beans. Yeah, I've been through Iowa before. It's 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 a fun drive. Yeah, such a fun <laughs> drive. Flat, boring, boring. Yeah, it's, you know, it's like going through Texas. On uh, you know, going through uh, uh in Western Texas, it's just forever with nothing. <laughs> I've driven it both ways. Yeah, but no, it was. <laughs> yeah, he wanted that. I'm telling you, people were getting PMing me left and right, leaving their telephone or call me, man. I got money. I can pay you to deliver it, and this and that. And I sold it. Actually, a guy offered me more money than Dan did. But since me and Dan was friends, I let him have it for his offer, you know? Yeah. He was a good dude. His son, lazy. I had to I had to go get his ass out of the bed. His son, because they said, Oh, I don't want to bother him, you know, and this and that. He'd just get angry. I went in the house and whistled, said, get your ass down here and help me unload this van. <laughs> <laughs> He was afraid of making his son angry. Oh, screw yes. That. I used to make my son angry all the time. I used to do it just to see how long he'd stay mad. Yeah. Did he used to live up in Michigan around you guys or something? No, I met him off YouTube. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I met him off YouTube. I met a bunch of people off YouTube. Some crazy. of the best people I've met has been off of YouTube. It's crazy, crazy. Some of the ugliest I've met too, but on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> There's a why you think, many views. Okay. Say, why do you think I keep my hey, camera guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Where you go? Right. Bye, bully. You going around and get slapped around by your wife? No, that's well, only we'll... in the mornings he gets slapped around. Shit. That's any time of the day. Uh, we're going to step out and smoke, sign and smoke a cigarette. I can't stay alone all night. I got to go donate my services all day tomorrow and all day Sunday. Well, I'm not going to be on long either because we got to take Kim's car. She's taking to get the oil changed in the morning. And 
But I know what he was live. So that's why I figured I'd pop in and give you guys something to do for a minute. Yeah. No, nah, you know them damn little metal carport things you can buy and have put in your yard. Yeah. On uh, your driveway and stuff. Well, my brother's got one, but now he's just it, and it came with five foot legs or six foot legs, whatever the hell it was. I can't remember what he ordered. So he got the bright idea. He went and bought some twelve foot legs. So um, he went and bought him a damn another camper last week, and now he wants to put his camper up under. So we're down there raising now. He's wanting to raise it up. So on each side, we're raising it up a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time with damn floor jacks and four by fours, just so we can get all the damn twelve legs up under the damn thing. Yeah, yeah. It's we'll take, we'll take all things. damn. We'll take all damn weekend to do it. I have to do the same thing to mine. I got 10 foot legs to swap out with the five footers, but I got mine so cheap. But I got my legs pretty cheap, and I got the, the whole uh, canopy for like $1,000. Oh, that is cheap. My brother's, I think his is, um, I think it's when he bought it, it was a 20 by 24, but he just bought two more rafters. No, no, no. He bought three more rafters. Making so he's going to add an, he's gonna have another 15 feet, foot to the length. Yeah, so mine is, um, mine is an 18, 18 wide, I think, by 20 feet long. Or yeah. I'm going to have that backwards. Hey, Might be wide by, it's not wide enough for my driveway. I need it to be a little wider, but I can't. you can't make them wider. Hey, Bama? Yeah. Did you uh, did you get that, that uh, port, that carport or whatever it is you bought that time? I'm waiting on my son-in-law to make his mind up. We're gonna go back, make her an offer if he was if he still wants it. Oh, okay. Because I, gonna, I made a deal yeah. with him to go in half, and I'm not gonna back off of that. Right. I just thought maybe you're getting it to put over your trailer or something. Did he? Uh, did he no. ever come get? Your, did he ever come get his camper, or is it still in your backyard? No, it's still sitting here in the backyard. Oh, oh is it? Is that the worthless son-in-law? No, I don't know. No, I don't have a worthless son-in-law. Uh, the only son-in-law I got is worthless. My daughter divorced him. <laughs> Jack, no, he has his own uh, automotive shop. No, he's a good guy. Oh, okay, cool. I'll be right back. Grab something else to drink. But uh, son-in-law, yeah. he 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 got his son's playing travel ball now and. And, you know, we're wanting to take the camper back down there, but I told him, don't worry about it. It'll be sitting, it's locked up it's, whenever he gets ready. If, if you seen the shit in my yard right now, I didn't even worry about the damn camper. Hey, Jack, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I got to get up. Hell, we got to get up first thing in the morning. Go get my mom's car at the shop, or pick it up. We got to put a car in the shop. No, nah, her windshield wipers quit working, so we went and dropped it off at my cousin's house, and he put a new windshield wiper motor and some other kind of little box that goes with that shit in there. Oh, that'd be so, cool, man. So we gotta go there and pick it up first, and bring it back here, and then I gotta grab my truck and then go to my brother's house. So I'm yeah, sure my brother will show up here around seven o'clock in the morning. We're gone. Yeah. We're so freaking good. You, you gonna get it to go with you, or you gonna drive the truck, and drive the car back, and take it? No, nah, my brother. No, nah, my brother's <laughs> my brother's gonna drive up here and pick me up, and then we gonna go down there, and I'm gonna drive it back up here. <laughs> Because that was funny earlier. Yeah, you were on the phone with me when you heard her. She was bitching about yeah. not paying enough. She said, that's, that's, that's too cheap. That's not enough money. I'm like, you're griping because you're not having to pay that much money? I'm like, damn, don't argue because you're paying too low. <laughs> Usually people argue when they pay too much. <sighs> yeah, baby yeah, was on the phone with me. He, she, he heard my mom. He started laughing like hell. Yeah, I thought it was funny. You was going to go drive your truck, pick the car up, and bring it back. Yeah, she said, you going down there and get it in the morning? I said, hell, I can't drive my truck and your car back at the same time. <laughs> really? <laughs> Takes a little practice. I can't split myself in that many damn. No, no, no. Uh, you things. get a remote control and you hook one up to a remote. You know, use some servos. You got it. <laughs> You're used to yeah, driving yeah. cars. It'll just be a really big one. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think this damn uh, 800 kV motor is going to push that damn uh, Colorado. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you don't use that. You use the real engine. <laughs> you just use the servos to steer and brake and gas and stuff. Better be some big old servos because one off yeah. my RC cars just ain't going to work. It ain't big enough. <laughs> and I, I can imagine a servo horn probably big as hell. You know, you know, with with what's in like the car, the edge I have, it's already got steering servos in it. You just have to find out how to control them. You know. Yeah, it, y'all got y'all got yeah. that steering assist in those damn things. Yeah, that steering assist thing. Yeah, they're not one fifties too. Can't y'all yeah. turn that shit off though? Is there an option to be able to turn that off? It, it's it's automatically it. off. You have to turn it on in my car. In the trucks, you if you turn them off in the trucks, you're not you're not going to be steering that thing. Really? No, you turn it on? I don't think you can turn them off in the trucks. Well, on I know on on this car the the this the what is it the lane keep or whatever, it's off unless I turn it on. But it's on all the time because like if I have my cruise control on, it automatically comes on because I set it up to do that. Well, Gary, was your truck a twenty three or twenty four? What I just bought is a 23. It's a new 23. It's a leftover. Yeah, all right. Now, does were they all new ones? Weren't, weren't they like upgraded for 23? Like all new stuff? I think I'm not sure. I couldn't. If I told you, I'd be lying to you. Well, I mean, you got the new steer. You know, the suspension is upgraded. I know that. And the steering. The, the steering. engine's upgraded because the engine's, the engine's definitely 400 upgraded. horsepower. Hey, do you know what your towing capacity is? Um, No. No. Well, I, know I was going to ask you, does, does yours have the automatic backup where it will back a trailer up by itself? Is yes. yours come equipped with that? My other truck had it too. My okay, I didn't know. I never used it because I never set up the thing to do it. You have to actually I, just did, it I didn't know if that only come on like, you know, like the King Ranches or the Platinums. I didn't know if it comes on anything else or nothing yeah, like that. Like Larry, like, something like that. I, you know, one thing is I'm like you, I never set it up. It's like the upgraded, if you get a towing package, that's part of the towing package. <clears throat> Yeah, everything on my truck is upgraded. It's a whole different truck as far as driving and stuff like that. The headlights, depending on if you're of what kind of level the road is and stuff like that, the headlights actually adjust to the level of the road. That's really? I heard that, is, that was new that's in 23. A, dude, that's actually pretty damn cool right there. Dude, it's nice. It's really you ain't got to put that. Hey, you ain't got to pull up in in front of a garage door anymore with a screwdriver and go out there and straighten them, you know, set them some bitches like we used to have to. Remember back in the day? <laughs> I wish people hey, would set some of their hang on a second, hey, Hold on a second, guys. Street Fox, <laughs> I've been busy as all get up this week, brother. I did not get a chance to get those sent out to you, but I guarantee you I'll get them out next week because I don't have to go to the hall Monday. No. So, Gary, can I ask you a question? You can ask me anything you like, yeah. sir. Uh... So, if you get the automatic backup, you have to actually set it up before you can use it? Yes. Yeah. You got to put stickers in that on the trailer, so that way the back camera can see it and can operate it and, and know which way to move the trailer. Oh, so it's so it's got to have the stickers, so it, it's it it got a reference point. No, right. black, is it black I got you. I got you. Stickers? Huh. See that again, Pinks? Black and white checkerboard stickers, right? Um, you know what? It's either black or white or red and white. I can't remember. You know what? They don't. They don't say that on the damn commercial on TV about that. No, no. That, now they don't say nothing about those stickers. It came huh. with the stickers, and it came with a yaw, a little yaw thing that plugged into the twelve pin. And mm -hmm. I could have just, I could have attached that to one side of my trailer and set it up and done the. You have to do a whole thing where you you sit there with your trailer and you back it up and turn it and all this. It's a whole thing, and I just never took the time to do that. Hmm. Well, so it's another thing. Stickers on it. That seven point pin you're talking about, Pinks, also oh. monitors the air tire, the air. Yeah, uh, it, tires it, and everything. It would have if I had that option, but I didn't buy it. On the trailer, you didn't have it. I had the camera. You didn't have it, but the truck you did. Well, the truck has it built in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I didn't. I didn't buy the the thing for my trailer. Right. And, but I did buy the camera, which I have a camera on the back of this trailer. Unfortunately, now I no longer have the 12 pin hookup to hook it into. Hey, uh, Mud Moore, good to see you here, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Go sit well, down. Bro. You learn yeah. something every day because I didn't know that. 
Not going out again. Yeah, I do so have, it's, it's a setup. I am going to find a way to hook that camera up into my car somehow, into that truck. Uh, since I have the camera on the back of the trailer, on the enclosed, it came with it. Uh -huh. I have got a way to hook it up. It's, it's hooked into the 12 pin, so all I got to do is figure out how to hook it into a uh, cam uh, uh, power and and um, uh, monitor. Yeah. So What's up there, Free Fox? How you doing, bud? But anyhow, I, I, I want to control my trailer. I don't need that truck to control my trailer. I uh, hear that shit. No. And, or the little dial that turns. Now, the little dial is kind of cool. The little dial for the, the backup thing. Yes. You need that. It's kind of cool because I've been in a truck that it was set up on. And when you turn it, if you want the, if you want the trailer to go left, you turn it left. You know, uh -huh. not, not right like you would in your truck. And so it's kind of cool because you just sit there and use the dial to back it in. And it's, it actually makes it super easy, but I can back my trailer in basically the same way using my steering wheel <laughs> and my, and my mirrors. You know, it, it's, it's not hard to use your mirrors. I, cause that's the way I did it for years without all these cameras, without the backup assist, without all that, you know, the bigger trailer. <laughs> the pin, the way we've been, that's the way that I'm used to doing it. So yeah, if I yep. do it any other way, it's going to screw me up. Mm -hmm. Same here, Gary. Like the only said, way I know how to do it. I played with it at a car show thing where they had them set up for people to try them out. Like Ford mm -hmm. was there. And it was back when they were new. Um, and, and it was really cool to use. But I still went back to doing it. Even though I had the option in my truck, I went back to doing it just the same way I've done it forever. Just back it up. Uh, once I got the hang, once I got the hang of the big swing, because on my old that big trailer I had, because of where the, the tires were positioned, uh -huh. on the length, it, it had a really bad swing on the back end, like a wide swing. Yeah, it takes I, used to get used to it. Once I got used to it, backing that thing up into my yard, the hardest part was the angle of my yard where it, it the uh, wheels on the back would dig into the dirt a little bit. Those uh, the rollers, <laughs> but. I made a path for it and it stopped digging in. Well, Kim, how are you tonight? You keeping Sublime under control over there? What's up, Kim? Of course he is. We had, uh, we actually had uh, burritos for dinner. Oh, I had, my wife made barbecue chicken thighs in the oven and it was really good because I love chicken thighs. See, I don't mind. I don't. I I don't mind her in the oven, as long as they're right under the boiler. I don't know how she did it, but she. We've got this funky pan. that's like a, it's like an air fryer pan, but it has a pan underneath it to catch all the uh -huh. stuff that gets out. But she just bakes them, and it it turned out really good. Um, I don't have the I don't have the grill out because it's been raining so much, and I can't take it outside when it's raining. Right, so a covered area to use. I guess I could set it up on my front porch, but it's kind of weird. It's not wide enough, really. Ooh, mac and cheese. My wife had that too. She loves mac it. and cheese. Oh yeah, you can't never beat mac and cheese, right? I stopped, mm -hmm. by, Rick's. I stopped by Rick's Farmers Market on the way home, and they if they have their mac, they had mac and cheese in stock today, but they only had their loaded, which is mac and cheese with uh, pulled pork bacon and jalapeno which i love it and it's such good they make such a good you know just real good mac and cheese but my wife can't eat it because of the jalapenos and the bacon yeah oh jalapenos and bacon yeah oh, oh yeah you know it. and pulled pork bacon um, makes everything better. i didn't i didn't buy it i didn't buy any because i didn't want to have because i could eat it and she couldn't and that would just be mean because it's like they make the best mac and cheese there I'd love to know what they're using, what cheeses they're using in it. But hey, uh, I'm the regular, you're doing well. Only person uh, that's not doing too good tonight is probably Salty. What's wrong yeah, with me? Because he shaved his head and nicked it. Oh, did you? Oh, no. No, I didn't nick it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> meatloaf with mac and cheese in the middle. Oh, oh, that's a meatloaf sandwich there. That's, <laughs> that's golden. That's what I'm talking good. Well, my wife she, she makes she makes a five 
five different cheese, man. Oh, oh yeah, that's just good. Right, and she puts the uh, she puts a block of uh, cream cheese in it too, so it don't so it stays moist. You know what I'm saying? There you go. That's the that's the that's the trick right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, my wife did or my wife did that one time. She did like a five plus cheese, but she used the honeycomb noodles. Okay. Here. They they're great because they're so you can get so much cheese on them, you know, because there's all those holes in them. And they get and the top got super crispy, which I love. And that was just so good. I still remember it. And I think that's been like five plus years ago. <laughs> it had to be good then. Yeah, it's been a while and it was it was damn good. <sighs> so salty, what's going on, brother? You got that new property and everything, or what's happening with that? I'm just I'm I'm at the mercy of my brother's company. You talking now? Which one are you talking about? The one you just bought? Didn't you just no, the one it? in Alabama. The one in Alabama. Yeah, the one you bought like a month ago. Yeah, yeah, the one in Alabama. Yeah, I'm at my brother's. Uh, I'm at the mercy of my brother's company because there's they're they're saving me so much money by letting them do it, but I have to be able to wait and let them do it when they have time and they can work it in. Right. Um, so. They've already cut the driveway in and put the culvert in and stuff like that, and uh, and they and they done the driveway down to where the house is going to go. Uh, but they had they haven't been able to go any further because, well, Mother Nature's been pissing on us for God knows how long now. And in between right that, they they got to do their job, you know, because they do. Uh, they're a pipeline company, and they do all the big. Uh, the storm drains and all that shit on new uh, construction, big shopping oh, wow. centers and all that kind of shit. So when they can when they can work me in, they go down there. I mean, dude, they're, I'm I'm getting everything done so so fucking cheap through that company compared to what I would be paying if I just hired somebody I didn't know. Plus, it, it helps my brother my brother being employed there. So, and my right. brother's like my brother's one of the bosses at the company. So, and I definitely know what you're talking about the rain. Oh yeah. Where? Down here. Are you saying it rains in Alabama? No. Oh my god. Huh. I I needed to stop. It's pushing. It's stopping for the weekend. We're gonna have a beautiful weekend. It's gonna be like eighty on Sunday, and then I think on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday again, it starts thunderstorms and rain. Wednesday. Really? Hell, for the next five or six days here, we're supposed to be in the damn mid to upper 80s, almost in the yep. damn 90s. So no rain, no nothing. 80, Sunday will be 81, Monday will be 84, Tuesday 81, Wednesday we get the rain. It's a little fall now. Wednesday rain, and said it, but that's too far out for them to really know because it's changed. Well, so yeah, much. Mud these right there says the same there in uh, Cortland, New York. New York, rain. <laughs> Yeah, it's just been it's raining so much here. Uh, well, thing of it is, not only do they got to cut in the house pad, but hell, they got to clear the trees just to be able to do that because the whole property is nothing but woods. Right. Like I said, there was there was there was not even access to the property. They had to cut a driveway in just to be able to access the property. That's easy. Yeah, but I got I got the land for three thousand an acre. That's why I jumped all over and I bought three acres. That's not bad. Hell no, I mean, that's a good if it's price. Foldable, if it's actually usable land, dude, it's, it, the, yeah. the shit is the shit is almost flat as a pancake. Oh, that's nice. Even wooded, that's nice. Uh, I like the wooded. The shit, wooded. I'm having, I'm having a, better for the wood. I'm, I'm having a lot. I mean, I'm talking. I'm probably having about eighty-five percent of all the trees cleared off of that property. Oh, we did. Is it that? Going, I usually do that too, but I usually don't have that many trees. Like, there's no trees on my property. Everybody say hello to MJI. What's up, MJI? MJI? Now, girl, I know you don't need anything to eat. You've already had your second meal. With flat land like that, though, Funky, you know, I mean, salty, I'm sorry. Um, with flat land like that, you'll get more money for the trees. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, see that that was part of the deal with uh, me allowing my brother's company to do that because they are keeping all the timber off the property. 
Oh, and man. they and they are they are selling it and making the money off of it because they're giving me such a good deal on clearing the property. I get it. They should be doing it for free if they're keeping the money because that's hey, that wood buddy is expensive. Yeah. Yes. Well, I can tell you, it's not free, but I guarantee you, there ain't nobody else gonna get the deal I'm getting because so, I do because not only are they doing the property, but they're also furnishing all the gravel, the culverts, and all that shit. All that's part of the deal. When my uh. When I bought that property up north, I paid for it by doing the select cut on the trees. Just a select cut. Really? Yeah, that's what my brother done to that damn 12 and a half acres when he bought that. It was all wooded, and he done a select cut on it, and it paid for his property. That's what I'm saying, dude. They should, and right now, wood's higher than anything. Yeah. The wood went crazy again. Mm -hmm. What made it so bad is after he done the select cut, Back in the day, it's I think ninety six or ninety seven when he built his house. Back right after they done the he done the select cut on his property. About three four months after that, <clears throat> the pines that were left on the property caught that fucking caught the beetles. You know the beet the uh, pine beetles. Yeah. So then that company had to come right back in and cut down all the damn pine beetles. Cut down all the pines that got the beetles in it. Yeah. I mean, because you can't keep those, you know, because they'll just they'll ravage your whole damn property. They'll take so, every, they'll take all your trees and shit. So the seven sixteenth OSB now four by eight OSB seven sixteenths used to be what six dollars a sheet uh, for that really thin because just under half inch was about twenty nine bucks a sheet now. It's twenty one ninety five. Um, if you want the three quarter inch or twenty three thirty seconds, it's thirty dollars a sheet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the prices have gone up a bit, but it's funny is for like less money, you can get a night. Oh uh, yeah. 1930 seconds. It's just over half an inch for less than oh, the subfloor. That's because it's an oddball size. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But it's that they don't make the actual size half inch and quarter inch and all that. They, they quit doing that years ago. Chip, that's perfect for hanging on walls though. It's still yes. the half inch. is still plenty enough to hang shit on. It is, it is, but but for that price, twenty one fifty seven a sheet. That's I need. Yeah, you, you need what? Uh, let's see. It's four. I need ten sheets to do one wall. Yeah, I mean, but hell, you don't got to buy it all at one time. So. No, you don't. And and since I found that stuff that I can I can spray it with, I can do OSB, and it'll still be flame uh, fire retardant. I tell you what, though, I, this is just this is just me. Uh, thinking outside the box look around and see if you have a sawmill anywhere near you like a big sawmill or something like that and see if you can go get pine cut boards and that'll save you a ton of money because uh, you if you buy it straight from the sawmill it's a hell of a lot cheaper than going to the box stores i mean i'm, I'm talking about yeah, it's like a quarter of the cost of buying Hold it on a second, store. guys hey mji said he'd be back in a little bit there I mean, Sublime said to be back in a little bit, MJI. <laughs> this stuff is what's going to allow me to be able to put that stuff up. Yeah, well, you can so, still paint. You can still paint all the pine boards and do the same thing. Well, I know, but you still have to put this on it to make it fire code. Yeah, that's that stuff Mike was telling you about, right? Makes it fire yeah, resistant. Yeah. yeah. Fireproof flame retardant. It's a <laughs> fire fire tech. Um, but it's 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 forty dollars a gallon, which that's not bad. Do you know what I would do? Is I'd paint that shit with kilts first, and I'd put that shit over top of it because I'd let you the kilt soak, soak up all that damn. Yeah. You have to put the, this on the bare bare wood. Oh, you can't put it over top of like kilts. It, it's and a, it's a now, MBI, You ought to be careful what you ask for. It's it's what's called a saturant. <laughs> you have to saturate the wood with it. It has to be poked into the wood. Bully, bully, bully. So I'm on my way to get some deep. I would, probably need, I would probably need a couple of gallons for one wall. You're breaking up really bad, uh, Sublime. I'm on the road. Sorry. I'm sorry. Bama, who's dick you oh, got? Damn, look at those bird out marks. <laughs> Holy shit, that guy rolled that sucker. Going to get some food for somebody.
Pizza, pizza. My friend, the Indiana six hundred. One of these days he's gonna come on here and he's gonna damn um. One of these days he's gonna jump on here and that Katana six hundred is gonna be a Katana nine hundred. He's gonna graduate. Or maybe he's gonna be a Street Fox. What's up, dude? I'm telling you right now, he's a William. He should he should get upgraded to Jixer one thousand. I don't want no crotch rocket. Shit on that. No, I just want that little dirt either. Yeah, salty don't want no cross neither. No, I wasn't worried about that. Like Motherfucker, I'm only four inches from goddamn not having one. Remember, remember the the old um, Honda Trail seventies? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, Dude, those things are going for like three to eight thousand dollars. I know, yeah. right? It's crazy, ain't it? Those didn't even cost a thousand dollars brand new. I don't think. What about Dude, the YZ80s? They were probably like. You know, $500 new. Yeah. They were out in the late 60s, early 70s. Hell, that either trail bike or that enduro you bought that's out there in your building that you've been working on. There's no telling what that thing will be worth when you finally get it done. Well, I, I like it sitting right now. A guy offered me 800 bucks. How much? 800 Really? Right. Hard to hear you because hard to hear you because Sublime's mic's cutting in and out. So they, so I'm they, not even they, talking. Right. No, just your background sound. Five hundred bucks. <laughs> so restored is? Did you say forty five hundred bucks? I seen one. Huh. The exact same bike restored was forty five hundred. Holy so shit! But I bet your ass he put that much in it. He probably did because parts for those damn things are not cheap. No. And, you know the main thing it's not it's not so much buying the parts it's finding the parts. No, it's not. that's the hard part. No, oh, yes, finding them old parts anymore is like man, it's really hard to get your hands on that. shit. Well, the seat, the base of the seat, I'm basically mm -hmm. restructing that with uh fiberglass. Oh, okay, okay, because hell, it's probably impossible to find another seat, ain't it? it, it to find a good one, yes. If you could just find, find the, a good frame and then take it somewhere and have somebody cover it, you know what I mean. Yeah. If you can find a good frame, that's the whole thing. If you can find a good frame, but you know, I'm going to tell you something, man. If it's such a tiny ass little word, and I know, but it, it's the man. It's got. I don't give a shit what nobody says. That is the biggest two letter word in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is. I got to go get a drink. I'll be right back. You know, Sweet I, I've, been thinking, I've been thinking salty that I might just go with a uh, sheetrock because of the, the price. So much cheaper. <laughs> And I oh, it is. It is, but my problem is I absolutely just despise sheet rock because I cannot stand taping and mud. I hate that shit. I, but I, I don't need. I don't like it either. But I will do it to make it look nice. Uh, although you know, you can you can get away with that. You can get away with that by not uh, taping mud. It. All you gotta do is buy you some damn uh, one inch trim. Yeah. And put that shit up, and you ain't never gotta take mud that shit. Well, I I didn't. The, what's in my garage now isn't taped and mudded, and it's but that's that quarter inch stuff, and I'll I'll, I'll remove some of that and replace it with some uh, five eighths, but only on mm -hmm. the house side. The rest of it can stay what it is because it it looks fine. I don't need to replace it, and it's an outside wall. So it does not. Would they allow you to put that um that like fireboard on that side yeah. of the? I can. Okay. Fireboard in there. But it's I'm looking at cost. Like like I can put OSB up if I wanted to and use that fire stuff that I just showed you. And it would take about two gallons, a little over two gallons of it for one wall. Because mm. you have to saturate the wood, it, you can do 150 square foot a gallon. Um, and you have to saturate the wood before you paint it. But once it dries, you can paint it just like anything else. Um, oh, okay. And, and it won't soak it won't soak the paint in quite as bad so and i'd still probably use kills um, yeah it's kills for the win yeah i love that stuff it works great that's what i painted my last garage osb with it still took two coats but um, yeah it's but, usually uh, one wait, coat of kills two coats of paint I yeah which, which kills, kills you use 
You got some that cut all the fumes and some don't. Well, you you got the kills now that, that comes. It's the kills and a primer at the same time. And it's odorless. It don't have any odor. Yeah, that, and that kill, that sucks. That kill sucks, I'm telling you. you Let me tell you something. Bleed through. Let me tell you what kills will do for you, dude. My, my buddy who used to flip houses, he lives in Arizona. He flips them out there. He would take oil-based kills because, like, on rehab houses uh, that, you know, smelled awful inside, he would spray kills, like, anywhere, like a closet that stunk really bad, spray oil-based kills, and it would just kill the odor, dude. Yeah. Well, you, got, you have to use that. You have yeah. to. Get up there. Yeah, I agree with you, Katana. I don't, I honestly, I don't like, well, I, I'm not going to put any sheetrock in my house at all. There'll be, there will be not one inch of sheetrock inside of my house, but definitely a garage because the door is always, you open and close the door always, and there's moisture that always comes in the garage. That's the reason why I don't like uh, sheetrock in a garage because it ain't going to take line, give it four or five years, and sometimes even less. The seams where you tape it, they'll always crack because of that. It don't take very much moisture to get up under that fucking tape. And that shit will start popping. Start but the thing is, though, Salty, I've learned that if you have air moving in there at all times, you won't have that problem. That's true. Now, I agree with you 100% on that. Yep, you're right. You're right. That's why I keep air running in my garage. I keep a fan going over in my here. garage 24-7. Over here. My brother, when he built his house, he wasn't thinking about what was going on. And he, you, you remember back in the day when they, when they basically quit steepling your roofs and they started popcorn, popcorning your damn ceilings. Yeah, that machine. Well, he popcorned his damn garage, and dude, his cars had popcorn all over those some bitches. He would come out every day and part the ceiling, the popcorn and fell off and hit the top of his cars. <laughs> He finally got up there with a putty knife and scraped all of that shit off. And he goes, this was the biggest damn mistake I've ever made in my life. <laughs> but I remember back in the day when I used to steeple just to hell. Every damn ceiling in a house was steepled. They steeple a piss out of people's houses. Oh. <sighs> And one of the worst things you can possibly put on the outside of your house is stucco. Never put stucco on the outside of a house. Never. Depends never, never. on where you live. I don't give a shit where you live because termites are in the ground in every part of this country. And there's a void behind the stucco between your wall. You'll have termites and never even know you got termites that come up right behind the void. Same thing with a brick house. If you got a brick house, there's a void between your the brick and your wall. Termites come up right behind the brick in that void. You'll never even know them till the damage is already done. What if I make my house out of brick with no wood? Well, then you don't got to worry about it because they ain't going to be eating nothing. There we go. We're good. But believe it or not, though, is termites don't eat wood at all anyway. Think about that. They don't eat wood. They chew it out. They don't chew it either. They eat the cellulose inside of wood, which is basically the sap. They don't eat the wood at all. The moisture they bring up with them is what rots the wood. They don't eat wood. They eat the cellulose. I couldn't tell you because I don't even know. They destroy wood no matter what. Well, it's like I said, it's the moisture they bring up to live in is what destroys the wood. <laughs> but they don't so eat wait wood. Wait a second. These I have. Salty, did you just say termites don't eat wood? That's exactly what I said. Are you freaking in my toolbox? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a piece of wood that's been a? Have you ever seen a piece yes. of termite damp? You ever seen a piece of termite damaged wood? Yes. It yes. Is. Okay. Well, let me ask you something. What is left on that piece of termite damaged wood? The wood is left, and all the sap and the cellulose is gone, but the wood is still there. No, no dude. No, yes. Wrong. 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 <laughs> Termites eat wood. They don't yeah. eat wood. It's Asian. They eat wood. They all they can eat is metal. <laughs> Cellulose is the main building block of wood and other plants. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, though. I mean, seriously, what Salty's saying, though, 
I mean, right. they, could that be a point too? I mean, I don't yeah, know. They don't. We want the cellulose, but the cellulose is not the sap. It's actually, yeah. But think of it is, they don't eat the wood. They the moisture they bring up to live in is what rots the wood. They don't eat the wood. Fibers in wood. So what is cellulose? It's, it's cellulose is. It's, it's almost like a sap, but what it is, it's the liquid that's inside of the wood. That's what they eat. They don't eat the wood. They eat the liquid inside of the wood. No, I'm going to fill in for four blue here and say I call bullshit. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, get on the internet and do some research, buddy, and you'll come back and say you'll see that I'm, I'm right. Right now, it says they eat the cellulose fibers, which is part of the wood. I've always known that Wood is cellulose. So like I said, all right, look at a piece. Right, well, look at a piece of termite damaged wood, and tell I me what's left. Say, I got to honestly good. say that you guys are all kind of right. We are. But all right. Not only do termites eat wood, but many species of the insect live in it too, which makes finding food source easier for them. Pests drilling termites. Live in trees, lumber, soil, wood. So you're both you all you guys are all right. Paper oh, fabrics too. Damn, I mean, that's the first that's the first time, Gary. Everybody was right. Well, I'm I, didn't, I didn't realize I'll fix and take a pee and I almost forgot to meet. <laughs> right. But but technically not all termites eat wood. Yeah. And, and not all termites down his leg. And some wood termites don't like some wood they like. They like some like like you know if you got wood and stuff in there because a lot of the wood and stuff that you have um, chemicals and stuff in they probably don't eat that wood. Uh -huh. Good. Okay, so so the termites also tend to avoid specific species of trees such as redwoods, yellow cedar, laotian teak, and cypress. They don't like right. that wood either. I will definitely tell them I don't eat metal. <laughs> they, don't like, they also don't like heartwood. If it's the hard center wood, the heartwood, they don't like that either. They can't eat it. So the thing <laughs> is, it says they usually smell the, the usually smells termites hate, such as orange oil, neem oil, garlic, cinnamon, you know, helps get rid of termites. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, so the thing of it is, is yeah, you guys are all right and you're all wrong. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. I like that. I'll take that. Mike's that far wrong. He lost three inches of his wood. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, you're right. He did lose two termites. So, so bully, you drive and you got you got mom in the car with you. Yes. Me and Kim are on our way back from picking up a deep dish pizza. Oh, okay. Oh my I, God! I deep deep deep. We were just no, talking about deep dish earlier. Hi, Bama. She had a taste for it, so she hasn't eaten all day. Which deep dish you got? Which pie? You Blue Malnati. Well, I noticed one thing. She had to go somewhere else and get it. You couldn't give it to her. What's yeah. on? What, what's on the <laughs> I couldn't give her deep dish pizza. No, you just can't give her nothing deep. Yeah, you can. Oh, my God. Oh, this is Says the man with four inches. Hey, hey, I know I'm in that no deep uh, class, bro. I've been there all my life. So, yeah, <laughs> salty's a, salty's a uh, thin dish. <clears throat> no, I'm a tickler. No, no, you're not even a tickler. You know, you know how like, most uh, people use that old saying, I'm going to go over here and fuck her to death. No, I'm going to go over here and tickle her to death. Well, you know, my question is, though, Salty, do you have a... Uh, <laughs> he's trying to figure. He's, he's trying to figure out how to ask this question. <laughs> hey, you got, your you got my who pierced? Your tongue pierced. No, I don't have to. Because you long... tickle, it's a dick tickler. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> look, I look. I had to be born with a long tongue because my dick wouldn't have got me nowhere. You, you you know you know what the worst thing was? I was holding back and I should have said what I wanted to say. You go ahead and say it, man. Yeah, spit it out. It don't blow me. Now it's gone. <laughs> Just say it, fam. That's why I was asking if Miss Kim was in there. Oh my God! What did you just say, Kim? 
She said she loves deep dish. She's saying she's looking for. Oh, I thought she. I thought she just said she loved big dick. I could have swore it's what she said. Oh, she said deep dish. You meant it. <laughs> uh, oh, Pamela, you don't have to worry jumper. about saying anything here with her. Here, you, you're fine, bro. <laughs> Let it fly. Let it rip. Look, look, we've all heard Sublime talk. I guarantee you, there's nothing we can say on here that Kim hadn't already heard from Sublime. That's well, much. okay, that's pretty much. <laughs> yeah. You got to remember, he was a roofer, so the, he, there's a well, lot of shit that came out of his mouth back in the day. Miss Kim, when you when you want to have a good day, just go to the grocery store and get you a big old cucumber and you'll be fine. Oh my oh god. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> you ain't going to get it from Sublime. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. What if she told you different? You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. Yeah. What did to you? Damn. Okay, I said I'm sorry. We all know she's joking. <laughs> Well, Bam, I got a question for you. When you buy those cucumbers, do you do you peel them first? You talking to me or her? Yeah, I'm asking you. When you buy those cucumbers, Bama, do you peel them first? Oh hell no! You want the ribs? That's that's yeah. see. <laughs> that's, that's why I told. That's why I Gary, told you Gary knew where I was going with that because Gary started laughing as soon as I said it. <laughs> <laughs> He stepped off into that one. <laughs> well, there's certain cucumber you gotta peel. <laughs> They're tough. Well, I'm sure you could peel it. She right into that one with us, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, right. She went right on down the rabbit hole. Yeah, <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> I'm sure she could peel it. Yeah, her bama's her bama's in the same rabbit hole. <laughs> Don't want wow. this full moon tonight. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Are you like, oh my god, she said that? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the he's wanting to say something, but he don't want to get the shit knocked out of him. Hey, the biggest laugh I got with those two right there is when they called me and told me about the mannequins with nipples. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> we went back there the other day. They're still there. <laughs> I was gonna do it. I was gonna do a short on it. I probably should have. What you what you should do is go back. No, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> never mind. No, because he might get arrested for the things you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> next thing you're gonna hear. The next thing you're gonna hear is flying is in the in in the police department. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. don't need that. God. So, uh, no, you, you need you need to go back to the uh, what was the garage in the melons. <laughs> the garage and the melons. What? The garage. What? <laughs> what you what you sit in the garage when Miss Kim walked in? Oh, that's when yeah, when he was on that live stream at night. No, yeah. that was in the dining room. Oh, the oh dining my room. god! You talking about okay. on Funky Stream? Yes. Funky yeah, stream. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I was, was sitting it? on the dining room. I was, came downstairs. I, I was so oh, shocked. I, I thought you was in the garage. <laughs> no. No, it okay. was in the house. I was half asleep, just got up, and I walked down. I realized I didn't have clothes on. <laughs> yeah, they, the yeah, they was up. <laughs> oh, God. And I that didn't know the blind was on, uh, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. There's, see, there's the real bully right there. <laughs> hey, Fucky? Of course. Hey, five minutes. Well, it's, five minutes. It's Friday night. Fight. You know he's been watching. He didn't go live. He was watching UFC. Oh, of course. It's, it's, but it's funny he showed up when you was talking about melons. Hey, you know I'm gonna yeah. tell you something. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I think you know because they had that midget oh, uh, wrestling on there, so that's probably why he's watching tonight. Oh yeah. He's he done went to the bathroom slap. four times after the midgets wrestled. Those All I want to know, Spunky, are you gonna get that pay per view where Mike Tyson gonna be fighting Je fucking Jake Paul? Oh, that's not pay-per-view. That's going to be on Netflix. Yeah. Oh, really? It's not pay-per-view. 
Oh, yep. I thought it'd be on. Pay, I, I thought it'd be on damn pay per view, knowing it's Mike Tyson making all that money. He says UFC three hundred is too my road. Oh, okay, okay. So, so how long I got to get my Dish Network back to watch that fight? Uh, damn, I'm Mike trying to remember Tyson. when. When is that fight? The Mike Tyson fight. I can't remember when that damn fight is. All right, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Mike Tyson keeps saying he's going to knock that dude out in one round. I hope he does. I'm going to tell you I something. Got, dude, I've been watching Mike Tyson's little training videos and shit like that. That dude, he's an old man, but he's fast as hell. Yes, he is. It's funny because Jake Paul is, is at the age Mike Tyson was when he was the champ. And that was a long time ago. All Jake Paul trying to do is following his damn older brother's footsteps. Where did Bama go? He's Where trying to Bama? find. He, he's trying to damn follow in damn Logan Paul's footsteps. Well, I tell you right now, dude, Tyson gets a hold of that dude, and you know, and I really don't think this fight's really going to be a fight fight. You know what I mean? But yeah. if nah. it is, if it is, Tyson will knock that dude out quick because he's got a glass jaw. I don't know. He didn't have that much of glass jaw after damn. Um, oh God damn! Holyfield started beating on his damn head. He was going down. He went down. Hey, that's Holyfield different. Though. Was really old. That's huh? So that dude, that dude has a glass jaw. He was doing tight because you know that's Tyson's punch, dude. He hits that uppercut in that jaw. That dude. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's he, he's got a mean. He's always had a mean ass uppercut. He could slip that some bitch in at any time too. And he'll get that jaw. But now, back when Tyson and them Holyfield fight, they wasn't old. No, no, I'm Hol not Holyfield, Holyfield was older than Tyson, yeah, but goddamn, talking about Holyfield's that. a warrior. Paul, yeah, Paul has got a vast jaw. Uh, he better hope he's going to have one. That's all I can say. Nah, I he, think Tyson kick his ass. Well, they say, you know, uh, Jake Paul, he's only, he's only doing it for money. This is who cares. What do you want? There you go. Mike Tyson's only doing it for the money too. Ooh. You know, Jake. You know, Jake. You know what? You know what? One of Jake Paul's um, demands is going to be right. Uh, you make sure he don't. You, he pulls his teeth out before we fight. Right. Yeah. That pizza's as big as her. Yeah, Jake Paul's like, I ain't fighting that motherfucker. But he's got his false teeth in. Does that does that uh you know, face have got melon on it? Nobody got goddamn melon. You shut up with your freaking melon. You talking about you talking about pineapple? I'm sorry, I meant I, I meant pineapple. I can say pineapple is good on pizza. People don't like pineapple on pizza. Something wrong with you. That's just good. No, I, I like pineapple on pizza. Listen, you get a barbecue chicken pizza with pineapple on it, dude. That's that shit is good, yes. man. Home run. Yeah. Hey, you can get a barbecue yes. brisket pizza too. It's got um uh pineapple on it. It's good. You ever had Italian beef on a pizza? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. Yeah. I like stuff. Than my hamburger pizza. So. Dude, I'm telling you, some of the best pizzas I ever seen made was them damn boys on damn barbecue pit boys. Boy, you talking about loading up a pizza? They ain't. I ain't never seen nobody load up a pizza like those guys. Those guys don't up. use nothing oh. but a knife to, to do anything with. So, dude, I'm no. I'm talking about the toppings they put on their pizza. <laughs> dude, they'll put damn brisket on it. They'll put barbecue. They'll put pork chops. They'll put hamburger. It does whatever they've been cooking that week. Whatever's left over, it goes on top of that pizza. Jeez. They put all them different kind of meats on that pizza. This mm -hmm. guy's gonna watch sometimes. That's for sure. Say what now? They're fun to watch. They're they're awesome to watch. I love watching them cook, dude. They make me hungry, so I quit watching them. Shit, dude. I, I watch them just because I I like the way they cook and I like their techniques. Well, that's fine, but I don't have the stuff they used to do it all with, and I don't have the time. Well, I don't have the two and a half million subs that they got either that keeps paying for all that shit that they Jeez, eat. Yeah. <laughs> because they don't eat no cheap cut of nothing. <laughs> they fuckers eating the best meat you can get. But I don't know. They done some. They done some round roast the other day, which everybody knows round roast don't cost that much. And um, 
But my problem is, it's just I wouldn't have ate it because they serve that shit medium rare, and I ain't no way I'm eating it. I ain't eating nothing medium rare. Dude. Fuck that shit. Really? No, no. My, I eat my shit medium you, well. That's it. I don't give a shit what it is. I, I'm a medium rare, rare kind of guy. So. No. I look, dude, I only eat one motherfucking thing that bleeds. That's it. I don't eat nothing else that's bleeding. And I, and I don't eat that motherfucker that week of the month. Well, that's it. Just tastes like a copper penny. Well, I tell you what, you can have the copper pennies. I'm gonna wait till that motherfucker ain't putting off them them that flavor. But you gotta be careful, dude, because some they can bleed for like seven days and not die. Hey, you gotta be. Hey, careful. you ain't bullshitting. They tough motherfuckers. All I got to say. <laughs> all right, guys, I got to go. The AC man's gonna be here first thing in the morning. All right, all man. Right, have a good night, buddy. buddy. Have a good night. Appreciate you letting me on. Hey, I'll call you. I'll call you sometime tomorrow, man, when I leave my brother's house. Later, Later. Bella. Right. Take Bye. it easy, man. Go to bed. Night, Kim. Bye, man. Mike Spikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Name you know we you know who we hadn't seen in about a week or so? Damn old Mike's garage. Oh, I wonder how you doing. I need to give him a call. Yeah. You may have had to go on a travel trip again. Who knows? Could be. He could be back up here in freaking Chicago again. You never know. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. 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 There's three states that I won't live in in this country. It's California, Chicago, and New York. Chicago's not a state. <laughs> well, any, well, it was like, any state above New York on the Northeast, I won't live in. It's too damn cold up there. Screw that shit. Well, there's a lot. Of, there's a couple of them up there, but uh, Chicago's not one of them. No, I know where Chicago's at, but I'm just saying, I said any state above New York. Uh, on the north northeast coast, I yeah, will not I live know. in those states. They're just too damn cold. When does Chicago become a state? <laughs> yeah. Well, so I know Chicago is not a state, but the damn um, the damn state that that damn Chicago's in, Illinois, is a state. Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. Hey, Illinois. look, I always had an ass on the motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'm southern. That's just what we do. It's like our Kansas. Okay. Yeah, we had an S on the end of that son of bitch down here, and it's just the way it is. Illinois, we put an S on. Okay. Even though I know, even though I know it's not pronounced that way, it's just the way we do it. It's okay. I call, I call it our Kansas, I, and I always know because of its spelling. Hey, MJI. Hey, listen, MJI just sent me this. What's good? Yeah. Better than he grab my phone. Oh, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> what what is it? I can't see it. It's Mike Spikes. It's one of the bags. I've seen those before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember when he brought those out? When he put those out, they were hilarious. Mike Spikes. Yeah. Good for he had to do else. something to make money. He had to do something to make money off that fight. I mean, hell, he still made millions and millions and millions off the damn fight, makes, win or loss. But ton off of those too. He's making his money in weed right now. That's where he's making oh, his money. He yes, sir. All the money in weed. Weed. There's, there's a lot of people making money in weed right now. A lot of actors and every damn thing else is all into that shit. It's so illegal in this state that it's not funny. Of course, they won't even let us. They won't even let us. You know, uh, have the lottery here. So well, we got the lottery, and you, I yeah, I guarantee them to you. If you and live in Georgia, the lottery. Georgia, Tennessee, Mississippi, they all have it. Hey, I'm telling have you right it. now. I'm telling you right now. We got the lottery and shit here, but everybody wins that motherfucker that don't live in Georgia. Because nobody yeah, in Georgia ever wins that son of a bitch. guys asking a question. Same here, Salty. At home? At work. That's where he's at. Hold on. I got to blow it up so I can actually see it. I'll be here in a minute. Hey, MJ wants to know where Fort Blue's been. Uh, MIA, man. He just been taking care of life stuff. That's all I know. Take care of business. 
PCB, PCB. I ain't gonna shut this down because I am going to bed. Yeah, he'll be back around before it's over with. He ain't gonna stay away. Uh, <coughs> All right, there, Mr. Gary. Appreciate it, buddy. You have a good night. Yeah, we appreciate you guys coming in. We'll talk to you guys later on and uh you too, talk buddy. tomorrow. Hey, All right, everybody right. take care, guys. All right, have a good night, guys. Peace. Peace.